I opened a Minecraft server to the public for exactly 100 hours. Anyone who joined spawned into an empty new survival world with one vague goal, to make the perfect society. The server opened right at 1pm Eastern Time on Thursday, July 15th. No one knew the true amount of chaos that was in store. I also streamed my perspective for the first few hours of the server. There was only one group of people I saw using voice chat and being organized on Discord, so I interviewed them to see what they were hoping to accomplish. Welcome, well, Skyler. Welcome we are the mole people. I think you guys might be the most organized people here so far. We have a set base where we just said, go to this coordinate. It doesn't matter if it's garbage or not, we're going there. <laughs> Do you guys think you will be the society at the end? Just want to dig a hole. Okay. I mean, don't we all want to dig a hole, really? It's yeah, like a primal that's instinct. Why I'm doing it. Near spawn, someone had started a base, the first real one I have seen so far on the server. My friend, Editor Lewis, joined the server and started building, uh... Well, you can you can see what it is. <laughs> why, why is there a ladder of this? It was dubbed a name that I don't really want to say on my video. Nearby, I was killed while trying to type a command by Mintley. You'll want to remember this username because he has quite a history of killing on this server. Welcome to another base being built on the server. This is the first base of a group on the server named the Trash Cats. They specifically named this area Trash Cats Bisect Land, which reminds me of a specific Minecraft server hosting company that may be mentioned <laughs> later in this video. At this point, people began to make their way into the nether. Meanwhile, Entropire had started a big mine underground, and a lot of other players had started mining too. Another group by the name of City Farm set up a base in a village next to the world border, and the original society I had planned to live at fell into complete chaos. A final group began exploring the snowy and mountainous region of the server. A new organization was forming, the Justicars. Every society needs some control in law enforcement, or so this group claimed. They said they would keep law and order over the server. The mole people had Mintley on their team, who had killed and made an enemy out of almost everyone on the server, and because of that, their team was an enemy of basically everyone. Because of those same reasons, the Justicar is prepared to send a cease and desist to the mole people because of their various violent felonies. He's a wanted criminal. He has killed three of our men. Uh, actually, three of the same person. Whoa. Three of the they, same they person. They killed the same man three times. <laughs> <laughs> the cease and desist was then delivered and read out loud. This cease and desist is issued by the Justicars for the murder of countless innocents. You are all to report to the hold of the Justicars for your scheduled executions. If you don't want to be executed, we are willing to offer you a deal. You are to flood low-income neighborhoods with crack cocaine to destabilize them, like the cartels. We will provide the crack, you just do the dirty work. Um, the low-income <laughs> neighborhoods? Uh, and it's a very easy job. <laughs> Guys, do we have an item frame? I want to get this commemorated. <laughs> it's time for the hour two check-in. Let's see what all the various people are doing on the server after two hours of playing. Hopefully they aren't suffering. The winter explorers have found a spawner and are hiding out underground from all the chaos. The mole people continue work on their base. And the city farm village base has been blown up by none other than Mintley. Entropire from the mines earlier has made it all the way to an untouched acacia biome. And for a bonus, here's a nice house in a beehive area. Meanwhile, the Flyker has been one of the first people to find another fortress on the server. Also, Bentley killed more people. A new player named Cricket joined the server a few hours after it started, and I gave him a free shovel that I had in my inventory as a welcoming gift. Just for Bentley to track him down and kill him and get the shovel for himself. Hey, I have a question. Was that the guy you gave the shovel to? Because I think I just got a shovel. No! <laughs> Why? Got called out, man. I think Cricket should contact law enforcement personally. Uh, we're not gonna do anything about it. We're too busy. <laughs> Mintley and the mole people continued to commit various crimes, and the first Trash Cat's base was burned down. Flyker, now out of the nether, began to search for a stronghold. All of the groups of the server wanted to be the ones to get the dragon egg, but Flyker was closer. Mintley and Hopeless started a village raid. Shortly after, a player named Mini Mario 35 began to attack Mintley to avenge the other players that were victims of Mintley on the server. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Get! Get on! watching him! Yes! 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 It's <laughs> killed him! No! It's not! Oh, there's a creeper. We're splitting this, we're splitting this, we're splitting this. He failed the attack, resulting in Mintley and Hopeless getting netherite armor and tools to share.
Hello. Me. Hello. I interviewed the Civi Farm team to see what their current goals were after Mintley destroyed their original base. Mintley walked in and he was like, oh yeah, we'll make an alliance, make friends with you, and then walked in and blew up our storage system. I may or may not have just blown up somebody's storage space. Now since we got exploded and there's a civil war basically going on, we have moved to what is now called Project Water. We're building it at Atlantis. Yeah, this is all we have left. The trash cats relocated to a base underground after their previous one got burned. Antropire has now built a house and settlement area in the savannah, and is still unbothered by anyone else. Mintley set out to track down the base he had blown up earlier, unaware that Sippy Farm had already moved. It's the storage space I blew up. <laughs> it's a crater in the ground. <laughs> Are you gonna try and track him down now? <laughs> do I want to? Is that? Do I want to spend my time doing that? He decided he did. I'm gonna go to the other side of the map now. <laughs> Royley and a few others found the stronghold since the flycar had to log off before going to the end. Their plan was to throw the egg into the void so no one on the server could have or fight over it. The group encountered a problem once they made it to the portal room. How many pearls do you have? Two. How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Oh, you guys hey, don't have enough anymore, because the other guy left. Bluey returned to the nether to find more pearls. The Civi Farm base construction was coming along nicely. They decided to build the base at the bottom of an underwater ravine, so it was especially hard to find. The base was built to be self-reliant and contained all kinds of farms and storage. Mintley lost the netherite tools and the other items he had from earlier. I fell into the lava in the nether. Managed to get out of the lava, but I burned to death and then uh, ground items got cleared. But yeah, and a lot of people laughed at me too, it sucks. Louie and Mutex managed to kill the ender dragon, and then threw the egg off into the void. Okay, you ready? Let's throw the dragon egg out of the void. Goodbye. A new player by the name of Aleph joined the server at this time. Bluey, of the mole people, attacked him at spawn as this had started to become a tradition. Aleph was able to escape though into the woods. The Trash Cats created a nice base underground which they called Trash Cat Studio. And the Sippy Farm group continued to work on their underwater base, adding an enchanting room and an XP farm. A giant lava cast was built near spawn to use the server's spawn protection and make a prison that was impossible to escape for anyone who died without a spawn point or any new players. We're going to keep the wall, and we're going to throw people food every few days. <laughs> Mintley was struggling to find the new city farm base, so I gave him one hint for the day. It is near a large body of water. I swear to god, I might have been there. Don't worry, he actually hasn't. Also, someone got trapped with a lava cast. Uh, remove the water, remove the water. I'm okay, and this that. person is just trapped in the center. I see spawn, it's already breathed. <laughs> Try and see if you can find a way out. I think you Are you gonna kill there. him? Okay, uh, do you want the water to get out? Drown. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can swim up now. Stuff. If they try to swim up, I will ki kick them off. Fuck, they made it out. Oh, they no, they'll die. Oh. They'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, Hello, they Mr. they Skeleton. made it out. There's no oh, no, 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 I'm inside. <laughs> oh, you're oh. <laughs> no. you place water? Oh wait, they no, made you, it. Like, you can't place anything inside. <laughs> they escaped. Oh no, I can't even come and get you. I joined in on the fun. Are you going to let them out? Um, no. <laughs> yes. It's I'm just gonna give it. them a piece of netherite. Everybody should check the latest uh, split. <laughs> should I give them like a netherite hoe or something? Or yeah, it'd be so... bog. Uh, sure. You know what to do, you know what to do, you know what to do. I know exactly what, what I'm do. doing. Oh. Yeah, that- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did they make it out? The chase is on! Oh yeah, they had water. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Ah, oh, fuck, they're hey, actually going to escape. They're in the swamp, they're escaping. Fuck. I know where that is. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm by the swamp right them. now. Why would you let them up? You just have to get rid of the water so you Yeah, I wasn't them. paying attention. The end dimension was starting to become flooded with water. And the entire grasslands area near spawn had been mowed down, leaving it very barren and desolate. The mold base was raided by players like Alep who had suffered under their reign. 
About an hour later though, the mole people were able to retake their base and kill the, both the enemies that had invaded them, taking all their items in the process. A woodland mansion was also found and raided on the server, and of course the hunt for the Sippy Farm underwater base continued. Sippy Farm began to take additional precautions for hiding their base. They built a giant obsidian cover over the ravine and covered up with gravel, making it look like the ravine wasn't even there. So yeah, the whole mole hole got destroyed, I see. The people of the mole hole woke up to their base being blown up. What they don't know yet is that it was blown up by Aleph and the others that had raided them the previous night. A nice area was built at spawn now that spawn protection was off, including these nice and welcoming signs. Welcome to hell. Entro Pyre's Acacia base was looking better than ever and was the best build on the server. There's one or two people that really desperately want to know the coordinates of your base. So I told the other group I'd give them a single hint on how to find you. Hello, hello, hello. I've been talking with the other people and I will give you one more hint today. My next okay. hint is that it's under a ravine. It gives me an idea. It's the nearest ocean. Ocean, find an ocean. I have you such a sad yeah, feeling yeah, yeah, I'm being so. let down a rabbit hole of nothing. There's two underwater ravines here, let me check them. Okay. Hey, Skyler, yo. <laughs> we are not liking the situation you put us in. Someone then found a nether portal near the city farm base. Oh, oh shit! Nether portal! Yeah, okay, let me put it this way. Don't come to the base. We will not fall today. Maybe tomorrow! <laughs> Meanwhile, deep in the nether, away from the chaos of the overworld, the Flyker worked for hours, completely hidden and unharmed, tired of the ways of the overworld players. They managed to get some of the best gear on the server and enough wither heads to make multiple withers. Amashi from the Civi Farm group announced a meeting that would take place at spawn on day 3 as a diplomatic way to talk about the server. But Civi Farm also had a backup plan if things went south. We're gonna have a stasis portal set up. So a stasis portal, if you don't know, is ender portals that had been thrown already and can be triggered at any time as a evacu- like an emergency teleport if someone triggers it while they're in the chunk. So with this, uh, while we're in the meeting, we'll have someone in the back. And we'll just like, if shit hits the fan, basically, they'll teleport us away. The mole people were somehow convinced by the Sibby farm people that their base was in the jungle? Somehow? I don't really know anymore. Sky, we have pieced together that they may be stringing us along. How have I searched the entire jungle and I haven't found their stupid thing? Then they were given some cords. Give me the cords. The cords led them to this dirt shack of a player named Vicstar in the jungle. Is it the big, like, dirt tower oh, that I saw before? Sky. Don't tell me this is the cords. Yeah. Give me more cords. <laughs> Wow, I can't hey, uh, believe the reason why they uh, they possibly could have had the wrong plan. Siffy Farm also began mining out a second base in the mountainside as a backup plan. All right, here is no hit the music. Welcome to Bisect Hosting's MTV Cribs. Wait, can we still call it that? All right, Bisect Hosting Cribs. They don't have an acronym. This is my premium housing. We've got carpeted floors. Uh, natural, if believe it or not, completely wow. friendly. And we have my accommodations. This is my refrigerator. We've got all sorts of lovely uh, amenities in there. I know what you're thinking. This place looks a little drab, needs a little entertainment. Well, let me tell you, there's a very enter- there's something very funny I have to show you. Look! He just appears out of thin air. He's my own little magician. <laughs> wow, that's that's great. I've named him Marcus. Follow me. Ignore this. This is I'm I'm having a renovation. I'm gonna be honest. The, I when I bought this place, I thought it was a lot smaller. Did we pass through this spot? Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Why are there no torches? I don't know. This this looks familiar. Yeah, there's a yeah. <laughs> is this purgatory? This will distract me from the harsh realities of our situation. Today was meeting day, and Amashi and Sifi Farm began to prepare. So today, uh, who is all here? That uh, can we get a sound out by names? Uh, Daybreaker six nine one two three. Hello, Blue. Hello, Hopeless. An eight gig. 
So, I am the representation, uh, like, representative of the anarchist group called Civi Farm. We do our own sh**. Um, peaceful until stern is our motto. Yesterday, I had, uh, had everyone basically looking for my house. And I decided, you know, why don't we just all get together and talk about sh**. We only have a day left in this world, right? I would like to propose a few things. We could possibly have a trading system. You do realize people who are like enemies of the country still trade with each other, right? The mini went on for a bit of a while and wasn't all too productive, but then Amashi took the meeting group over to the Civi Farm base. I always get so I always suck at trying to find the hole. I got it. What the server doesn't know is that the Civi Farm base has already been moved. The ravine base has actually been completely emptied. Amashi pretends the base has been raided. Wait, where's the? Oh, oh, we got. Oh. Okay, so, everyone, we might be too late. Someone found our base. This used to be the material blocks, like, area. But, oh well, I guess. Now, Danny. No, that was just, no, we got fucking raided, so I was just like, oh well. The Siffy Farm's meeting plan was a success. Meanwhile, the Fliker had turned an entire nether fortress into a wither skull farm. It was the final day, and I proposed a meetup at the last half hour of the server to see if we could achieve some sort of peace, at least, even if a utopia was off the table. Where's the society that we're supposed to be? This utopian society that we were supposed to make? I don't see it. Each, uh, each and every one of us will give a solution to this society that we've failed to make. Entry, we go on the bedrock. Give a solution to us. So, here's what we gotta do. We have to burn everything to the ground, and then everybody needs to log off. We only have dogs on the world. Dogs are good. I think we all blow ourselves up. I think we all give me everyone's stuff, so I end up the richest person on the server. No, I was a fan of the burning things earlier, but I say we yeah. just let things go as they be. We sacrifice ourselves the into the void for the dog guy. What you brought? Look at what oh, have you brought to this world. Oh, there's two now. Oh, there's, I think there's more than two right now. Why is this wither following me? I guess I'll have to f kill it then. <laughs> So in the end, while everyone was fighting amongst themselves, they didn't realize the greater threat of the Fliker, and he had the last laugh. Videotaping huh? this crime spree was the best thing oh, we no. ever did. <laughs> <laughs>